You will no doubt recognize our next guest from HDTV CityLine and pretty much everywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. Carson Arthur, how are you? I'm you are well, here to everybody. talk to us about backyard hacks so that when your husband says, I can't do it because I don't have whatever this weekend to Then you lawn. make your wife do it. Oh, wait, oh, because <laughs> I, I just say that idea right. of there's so much in your house already. Do not exactly go to the store to pick up the things to do the stuff in your house because the stuff is already in your house. Absolutely. I mean, everybody yeah. wants to save a little money, especially mm -hmm. yeah. at this mm -hmm. time of year, you know, a lot of overspending on the holidays. Maybe you had a vacation. Now we're just buying too many flowers, just, for, right? It happens. Yeah. I, I'm there too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're trying to save money in our space, but at the same time, what we want to be focused on is also saving water. We know that this year is going to be yeah. one of our hottest summers to date, and we're all kind of starting to feel the pinch on that one already. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to be smart about this. So we're going to do some tips that save money, save water, and these are all items that you already have around your house. Fantastic. Let's Yay. get started. Yeah. What are so we doing? some of them are easier than others. Some of them are more advanced level. Advanced so, level. So right. what okay. level is your green thumb? I'm a, I'm advanced. So I'm definitely. Are you? Yeah. Are I'm you very advanced? handy. I am very. Oh, handy. I like I'm that. An advanced neighbor. So, oh, perfect. Yeah, Even so better. I, yeah, yeah. I've got help. I got All a right. Team. So I've got some easy ones and some harder ones, as okay. I mentioned. All right. Okay. So let's start with vinegar. Yeah. We love vinegar on our French fries. We do. We personally, being me, love it. I also love vinegar on the patio. I love vinegar on your patio cushions. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Vinegar is a great way to kill mold, kill fungus, kill weeds in between the patio stones. Oh. All right, but you don't want the vinegar that you'd use on your food. You okay. need strong vinegar. So okay. this is a great example. This is Allen's Double Strength Vinegar. This vinegar you're gonna find in cleaning supply sections at the hardware store, box stores, even grocery stores. It's 10% uh, acid solution. Right. It will kill the weeds. This wow. will also kill your grass. Really? So we're not gonna use this in the lawn, I'm but we will this. use it between the patio stones. Doesn't help with the ants though. If you want to get rid of the ants in between your patio stones, hot boiling water. Cheap and easy, done. So <laughs> the pouring petrol into the ant hill is like I usually yeah, do in Australia, no, probably no. not that. You can do that, <laughs> uh, especially around yeah. July 1st, light it up. Yeah, I like um, it. <laughs> but, but the truth is, yeah, we don't want to be contaminating the soil. That's yeah. why we're using more natural ingredients yeah. like the mm -hmm. vinegar or the boiling water because they're effective and they work. Right. All right. Okay. Another one that's a natural ingredient is Epsom salts. Now, people are using Epsom salts as a fertilizer, as a, a weed control around roses, as an, a growth booster, but you have to be very careful with this. Okay. Okay. Make sure you go online to see the exact right dosage to use Epsom salts in your space. And I know it's been on social media a lot. Yep. You can really toxify your soil if you're not doing it properly. Of course, it's just salinating yeah. it, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. And we okay. don't want to do it. We don't want to overdo it. That's right. the key. So if you're not an expert gardener, don't start spreading this around your space. Right. All right. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, good, good note. Keep it in yeah. the tub. Right, yeah. one thing you can start spreading around, aspirin. Okay. Wow. Yeah, an aspirin a day. Great for the gardeners, especially <laughs> after the wine the night before, uh, but also really good. One aspirin in a 750 milliliter bottle of water, just like this. This is your best insecticidal soap. Yeah, <gasps> getting rid of aphids, getting rid of beetles, especially on tomato plants. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I've got cabbages right now already in the ground and something's already eating them. So I've gone with the aspirin in water and immediately it stopped. So it's just one aspirin in a liter? One Is aspirin in about 750 milliliters. Okay, yeah, yeah, but you can't overdo this. You can just spray the plants and they're fine. They're fine. And yeah, I mean, obviously if you've had an aspirin allergy or somebody with an aspirin allergy in your family, you're gonna use it less because you don't want the right. concentration to happen right. in the food. But as a natural alternative, Great insecticidal that solution. Smart. So Especially simple. Especially the strawberries coming up. Oh They've gosh, yes. <gasps> garlic, got that. You got garlic. Garlic's fantastic. Does that keep you away or? It, the vampires too, <laughs> yeah. No, you don't want the landscapers away, right? Okay. You want no, them you in don't. space. Mm -hmm. So garlic, you just break it up really like that. You want these cloves in hot water okay. for about 12 hours. Ho so the water has to be hot for 12 the hours? The water should be hot to start. Okay. So what I like to say is boil a big pot of water throw a bunch of cloves in it and put the pot of water outside because you don't want your whole house to smell like garlic. Yeah. So put the pot outside. Yeah. As long as they soak in that hot water, put it in sunlight. The heat will suck the, the garlic out of the actual clove itself right. into the water. The antifungals and, right? Great deterrent for cats, for dogs, for right. small children. No. Uh, <laughs> oh. But for bugs, for bunnies, if anything's eating your plants, what a great solution to get them out of the space. Okay. okay. And so okay. once the hot water you have, it, you just pour it around the plant? Or you put it in a spray bottle. On? Wow, So okay. simple, yeah. Another one that we want to focus on this year again is saving water. 
right? Yep. So there's lots of great solutions to save water, but we know when we're saving water, we're actually going to cause some problems as well, all yeah. right? Especially when it comes to our lawns. One of the easiest hacks that you can do to save almost 30% water is raise right the height of your lawnmower. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show everybody how to do it right there okay. on this lawnmower. Yeah. Okay. Not so this is the Black & Decker 40 volt. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have this handy little device, yeah. it makes it a little trickier. But you can see the measurements okay. right on the side. This okay. is the lawnmower you need to buy, Jules. I this do one's need so one. simple. So I want everybody this summer to set the height of their lawnmower at least at three inches. Okay. okay. It's going to look a little bit shaggier than we're used to, but at three inches, it actually is going to save significant amounts of water. Right. right. Our grass shouldn't look like a golf course in our front lawn. And I know a lot of people love that look, but when we're talking about healthy and water conservation, longer is significantly better. Okay, now, one good. of the things that I do know, if you raise the blades, you do have to have sharp blades. You do Because have otherwise, have it yeah. just flattens it. Exactly, right. and one of the other tricks is mow in the opposite direction. Okay. If you're gonna raise the blades, go in the opposite direction, because the grass naturally will lean yep. the way that you mow it, yeah. okay? Right. One other thing that we're gonna do this year, especially when it comes to mowers, is we're gonna take the bags off of our lawnmower. Okay. And we're gonna leave the bags off of our lawnmower until July 1st. Okay. Now everybody who's cut grass is going, no, it's gonna build up thatch. Thatch is what happens when the clippings lay on top of the grass mm -hmm. and it builds up a mm -hmm. mat underneath it. It slows the grass growth. What it also does is it protects the moisture levels at the root. Okay. Yes. It protects it from evaporating. So now the roots are getting more moisture. We can rake up the thatch come August, September. And you're you know, going to notice when you have to rake it up because it's going to start to look dry brown and, and, and dry. Like crispy. Yeah, so that's Absolutely. Right so that's when we're going to rake yeah, it up. Smart. We're not going to rake it up before then because it's going to protect the water and the moisture levels in our space. All right. Perfect. We got some time still? I do. Yeah, one too. more minute. Okay. Let's oh, get the diaper, the diaper out. We gotta get to the diaper. It's everybody's favorite. So this has been flying around social media, especially Facebook. The lining inside diaper. Yep. This stuff. Okay. Ugh. There that you powdery go. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what that is? That's silica is in it there. It is right? silica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All natural. Yep. Safe. You can grow plants in this as a plant material. Yeah. Wow. Florists use and this it as just a plant keeps gel. It's so humid, right? So this diaper will hold nine cups of water. Nine I'm cups of water. I'm sure my kids have tried that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take a clean diaper, not a used one, and okay. you're going to put it in the bottom of your planter. This is going to keep your planter moist a lot longer all summer long because it's going to hold all that moisture and your plant can root directly into it. You're going to fill it with soil so you don't see the diaper, obviously, yes. but that's going to do the trick. No oh problems. Amazing. You know what? There's so many tricks. You're going to have them all through the summer. Everybody's got to get on his site. He's fun. He's funny. He's got great ideas. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. My Thank gosh. you.